Oh, man, I hate Mondays. No, nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 wait. What day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Cruise day, Tuesday. Oh, fuck yeah. Grab a cold one. It's Bruise Day Tuesday. Here's Drez and Big Nate. Bruise Day Tuesday, it is here again. Yay, 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 yay. Oh, man. Ooh, I can smell the fruitiness. It smells, it smells a little fruity in here. Yeah, it definitely does. So it is Bruise Day Tuesday. It is, what's today? August August. Yeah, we're, we're, we're fully in. I mean, I know football season's right around the corner, but you know, we're just now getting into August, which to me, that's, that is, we're probably midway in the summer. Yeah. Time, right? It goes all the way like, through the end of September. Technically. Yeah. I think it's like the 21st. And cause technically the start of summer isn't until July. Is it? I thought it was June, June. I think it's like June 21st to. So this is the summer solstice, the actual first day of summer. I believe so. Yeah. I mean, traditionally, that's how we treat it, but I think it's all made up anyway. Well, then it should last three months, to, technically, right? Yeah. So June, into July, August, and then September. Okay, yeah. I, I've lived here long enough. Summer goes into October at times. So we're this is midsummer. Yeah. So we're going summertime beers, which I know you just did, uh, I guess, in theory, a summertime beer show with Huck. I don't know. I can't remember what those beers were, but I don't think they were as summery as what I have because I actually have lagers, two shandies. Okay, shandies are pretty summertime beer. That's for sure. Well, what I have here is the, I, I, I got the Southern Tier Summertime, I guess it's like a wheat ale pack. So it's it's all summer wheat ales and they have different flavors, I guess, or, you know, I think it's all fruits if I had to guess. But I had the Blueberry C which is the one uh, one here. And again, it smells, as soon as I popped the can, it smelled like straight blueberries. Yeah, I can I can already tell you're not going to like this one. I'm pretty sure it's why you handed it to me. That is exactly the, uh, why I handed it to you. It's the Ruby Red Surf Summer Wheat Ale, of course, Ruby Red being one of the best grapefruits and uh, 5% ABV. Uh, I always love good grapefruits, so uh, I'm excited. I Like I said, when, when I first opened, mine and yours was open. It was just like, even the blueberry over there, it hit me in the face. Which uh, is yeah, always a good thing as someone who likes fruity beers. When I first got into craft beer, that was one of the ones that I really, really enjoyed were the blueberry. And I don't even think they make it anymore. There was a blueberry. Oh, there was a blueberry beer that I really liked. I can't remember the name of it. There's the one with the dog on it. I think those are still around. Wild Blue or something like that. What? Yes. But there were, who else made a blueberry it was really good. I think I think uh, Sweetwater has a blueberry as well, like a blueberry wheat. But there was one of them, and I can't remember. It's been, I mean, we're talking like 15 years at least now. Blueberries are one of those things for me. The only thing I can really like, will act actively seek out with blueberry flavoring in it is blueberry muffins. And I think it has to do with like, First time I ever really had blueberries as a kid, it was blueberry muffins. You're talking about like, actual blueberry muffins. You're not you're saying yeah. flavoring, but blueberry muffins have blueberries in them. Correct. So like, but but the taste of blueberry, like anytime I have it, it, it's not that I don't like it. It's just like, man, this could have been a muffin. There's so much wasted potential. I'm kind of with you on that, I guess. I'm not a fan of blueberry pancakes. That's the other one that a lot of people go for. And they like their I, I do not like blueberry pancakes. That's what we got in our freezer right now for the kids. Blueberry pancakes and blueberry waffles. Like homemade, and no. you just freeze them? No, these are for like easy, quick morning breakfast. Now that actually, maybe I'd like that more, but like when when mom would do blueberry pancakes and you actually just, she has blueberries, pancake batter, and throws the, I, I, I never really was a fan of that. If I'm making pancakes, they've got chocolate chips in them every time. Mm, okay. Yeah, that might be a bit much. Oh, you, you're already loaded uh, up with syrup and- Well, I don't put syrup on them. The chocolate chip pancakes, uh, and then you put whipped cream on top. Yeah, I don't know if I'd like that either. It's very, like, quickly going to just morph into some dessert crepe. You ever make crepes? I've never made crepes. Oh, man. But I do like them. Cindy, on a whim, like, the other week wanted some. And I was like, you know what? I can make crepes. I hadn't done it since high school. Do you Do you have to have it? Is perfect. it different than normal pancake batter? Like, is Because it, it's very thin. It's a th thinner batter. So it's just, a, like, a more watery? Essentially, yeah, so you get the, and then when the pan heats, the, the thing is, is, like, you need to make sure your pan is, in fact, like, fully 
oiled it's and gotta be. and it's got to be very hot because otherwise you're just going to either burn your crepe or it's going to stick to the pan. But they cook so fast. Like once you get the batter made, it's like done. Thirty seconds in the pan and what? then it's ready. Done, done, done. Yeah, I've I've never attempted to make crepes, but it's a lot of fun until like you realize I made way too much batter and I don't want to be in here for. 20 minutes just consistently flipping crepes so now going down this vein you know waffles i, I can get down especially I, lo I love the chicken and waffles and this, that great combo but my favorite go-to of these sort of style of i love the french toast that's my favorite i've never made french toast it always seemed like i think i've tried once when i was younger and i put it in like the egg batter stuff too long and then the the bread just gets you know soggy and it was a disaster but my mom can make some great french toast i've never been hugely into french toast i i do waffles absolutely are my favorite they're like pancakes with syrup traps and if they get that nice little crunch on the outside and then they're mm. nice and warm i do like inside, a good waffle i'm not gonna lie it's, it's why waffle house is far superior to ihop mm. Mm. fair enough so if you hear that noise in the background, I don't know if that's picking up on the microphone, but it certainly is here. So they're still doing construction in the studio next door. Uh, did, did we never, did we ever talk about that? About what happened next door? I don't know. I've talked about it a bit, like the construction in particular, because yeah, I mentioned it. So like long, yeah, but... I mentioned it last week on my show. Where I was like, if you hear hammering and stuff, but yeah, you put on the bear hard hat there. It's, uh... <laughs> Gotta be ready. I feel like the wall is gonna come down behind me. Yeah. There we go. A little uh so now we're safe. But for I those that, for those that don't know, I mean it was obviously a while now. I, I can't remember. Was it like it was month, July third? Oh, you you got it, it on the day before the fourth of July. I remember because I I I, I got a text message that it happened because I wasn't in the building at the time and I was like, Oh, that's never gonna be fixed. Well, it's getting fixed. It's taking a, a little bit of time, but, but that's not bad considering it was like dealing with insurance and stuff. Yeah, I, I, I figured it was going to take a while. Turnaround, not bad, not too bad. So, what happened? Well, for those of you that have ever been to the radio station, you know, you might know where we're located, and we're not the only business in this building. In fact, right on the other side of this bare door is a uh, a salon, if you will, and. There's a lot of people that go in there and get perms done. I can I can smell that perm scent oh. sometimes when I they open their go door and I day. go to open my door. Yes, so that's always fun. But uh, we'll say that the general clientele they're is, not listening to the bear, not listening they, to the they, bear. They, so they we don't need to out of that demographic. They're, they're older. All right, they're it's an older it's an old lady hair salon is what it is. And I've been working here at the Bear for over 17 years. And frankly, it's a bit surprising that this hasn't happened sooner. But long story short, uh, one of the nice old ladies, I, I mean, I don't, I didn't meet her. I'm assuming she was a nice little old lady, but she thought she had her car in park or in reverse. I don't know exactly what she thought the, she had it in drive. It was in, in drive and it was in reverse. So she was actually, she was facing the building. So you would think, oh, she put it in uh, and drive instead of reverse. But no, she was facing the building and it was in reverse. And well, that doesn't make sense. Why would she be having it in drive? She was she, she trying to edge it she forward did a three to point turn around another vehicle. Well, no, but why would she why would it be in drive anyways if she was in a parking spot? She was trying to. I, I don't know exactly what her logistics was. I haven't seen the insurance report and haven't heard the story from her, but from the way that Keith Welton's kind of explained it is she probably had no business parking, but she was trying to like three point turn out of one spot into another spot, had her driver's side door open for some reason, I guess, checking the lines and she was trying to adjust and to back into the spot. And she went in dry, uh, reverse instead of drive as she was trying to correct and just basically floored it, hit the vehicle beside her driver's side door ends up like completely bending, facing the opposite direction, yeah. touching the hood. Uh, bench was obliterated car beside it was obliterated wall obliterated, but yeah. the window survived. Yeah. So she basically did a reverse 
what would you, I, I guess, kind of uh, U-turn. The only thing I could think will. is Austin Powers trying to get that golf cart out of the tunnel was what she was attempting. Going much faster. <laughs> she, and she just did not have the coordination. I don't know. We don't know exactly what happened or whatever, but thankfully, I mean, I guess she she even came out fairly unscathed. I think she had like, you know. She, she had was bruising around her uh, neck, around her neck, neck the because seat of belt. the seatbelt, but everybody was fine. But yes, the talk studio, Studio B, as we like to call it here, which is another reason why we haven't had a guest in a while. Not that we had anything lined up or whatever, but couldn't have a guest if we wanted to because Studio B is out of commission uh, while this is being constructed. It's basically just been in it's perfect timing with the heat that we've had. But yeah, there was not even, a, it was just a big piece of uh, plastic just kind of up and over there. And there was a hole in the wall, essentially. But it's getting fixed now, which is great, but the, it does cause a little background noise. They were unable to match the color on the wall carpet. Oh, is it going to so have a different color? A different color. So we'll have an accent wall. Oh, we'll have the oh. very first carpeted accent wall. Very nice. That that will that'll add that extra little little something for the talk studio. <laughs> hey guys, this guy's been hard at work over here. Though we probably probably should have given him a beer, but. Well, nah. he's still at it. I mean, I'm surprised. I mean, for, I feel like most days he's been gone by like five, you know? Yeah. Seems like he had it strict out. Maybe to, maybe he's just trying to actually get it, get it done done. I got a feeling by the time we open up the mics next week, we can talk about how lovely the accent wall and it's all completed. We might have to just do it in there. Oh, yeah. Really, really send it home. But all right. Well, uh, we digress. We are drinking summer beers, the Southern Tier. And I wish I had brought the full... 12 pack in here because I know it did have a whole little a little spiel on the side about summertime beers, but that's I, I, in fact, I should have mentioned it. But one of the things that is, I think, key when it comes to a summer brew is a nice you want it to be a session, and most wheat ales are. This blueberry C does not seem to have an ABV on it, does yours? Yeah, uh, up top, is it not? Oh, yes, an even five. Yeah, mine's an even five as well. An even five. So that's that's pretty solid. Nice, light, easy drinker. Uh, honestly, this is the kind of 12-pack I, I you can ha certainly bring poolside, floating down the river, whatever. I mean, this is just nice. This is a good day drinker, yes. for sure. Summertime day drinker beer. It does have that blueberry aroma to it, as well as the taste and flavor and it's not my favorite blueberry beer. Again, I don't think they make it anymore, and I can't even remember what it was called. But it's it's solid. It's decent. I'm gonna give it a three seven five. So Ruby Red Surf, the uh, the grapefruit's not as overpowering as I expected it from the smell. You might be okay with this one. I still think it's probably at the uh, lowest score from you today, but I'll try it either way. It's solid. I would easily. I mean, just even a six or a twelve pack of these just sitting on the beach would be. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, not my go-to style, low ABV, solid day drinker. I'm I'm gonna go ahead, and I also love ruby red grapefruit, so I I, I got to give it a four. It's a solid four. I, would I definitely I, drink it. I was almost ready to give this one a four, but I was actually also gonna look to see if we had a well, certain muffins. song, but our computers are so lagged, it's gonna take forever for it to load. So we'll just have to play what I already had lined up. I was gonna ask you what your kind of go-to summertime song might be like if you think when you think of summertime what is what's the band or song that really comes to mind and i mean i i can't really just pick one uh you could throw it on any ccr song and it oh. immediately gets me in the summer spirit uh down on the corner is a favorite of mine fortunate son also classic and i think it's the affiliation with like fourth of july and uh oh, no, yeah, no, no, I you Okay. Now I that's not where I went. So unfortunately, again, the computer's moving so slow. I guess we could ramble long enough to look for to see what if we can drag one in. But I, I had Sublime queued up because to me, Sublime summertime. Time. Of of course. That's that's where my easy. head went. So all right, we'll do that then. We'll play a little Sublime and we'll come back and drink more summertime beers. It's Brews Day Tuesday on 105.3 the Bear.